welcome. My name is Melissa Armand. I own the Stock Swoosh. And today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about inflation. This is something that I've literally been talking about every single day on all of the news channels that I appear on. And we're going to continue to talk about it. I'm sure we're going to keep talking about it the rest of the month of October and into the end of 2021 and even into 2022. I talked about it yesterday in a webinar and someone said, oh, this is all doom and gloom. Inflation is not doom and gloom. And I had to laugh because, I mean, if anyone knows me for even more than a hot second, they know how positive and optimistic of a person that I am. Talking about inflation and talking about what's happening right now in the world and looking into the future and planning for the future is actually a very intelligent and smart thing to do. It's not about doom and gloom. It's about realizing what's happening right now and how to improve your situation so you can move into the future. So one of the tenets of the webinar that I spoke about, and again, I'm going to talk about a little bit here today, is that when you know that the cost of goods and services are rising, housing too, food, gas, all the things we've been talking about, again, that I've been speaking about on news for the last several weeks, if the, if the prices are going to continue to rise, well, you only have several solutions. What is number one? You can spend less. Now, that doesn't work for me. I don't like to spend less. That's one of the reasons why I work so hard. I like to spend money. So I like to make a lot of money because I like to spend a lot of money. So you can spend less. I don't think it's a good decision, <laughs> but you could. You could do it. Maybe you're okay with that. I'm not. Or number two, you can ask for a raise at your current employer. So say you work full time, you may get it. You may get it because employers are desperate for employees right now. You may get a raise. You can ask for it, but you might not. Okay. The employer may not be able to afford to give you a raise. Three, third choice is you could get a part-time job to try to earn more income to cover the cost of increased prices of things. That's a third choice. People are getting part-time jobs. There are many jobs available right now. I'm sure if you want a part-time job, you could find one. But again, that's time out of your life from your full-time job and your family and your personal life. And what's the other choice? The other option for you is to do what? It's to trade. To trade and make money from the market. Remember, trading is not investing long-term, like for your retirement. Trading is active trading. You chunk it out. You go in, you take a trade, you make the money, you get out. You go in, you take a trade, you make the money, you get out. Today we did Boeing. We shorted Boeing today. We're in, out, in, out. Day is even over. Everybody out. Boom. That's it. You're in a trade for a couple of minutes or a couple of hours, but no longer than uh, before 4 o'clock because you got to get out of a day trade between 9.30 and 4. So it doesn't take forever to make money when you're actively trading. Again, this is not long-term investing. And you can pick up a couple hundred dollars a week or a couple thousand dollars a week, depending on how much you want to risk trading the market. Yes, you have to learn how to do it. Yes, there's a cost involved with learning. Yes, there's time out of your life to do that, but it pays off. So this idea of planning ahead for the future, and by future, I mean four weeks from now. I mean the holidays. I mean December 1st. I mean Thanksgiving. I mean January 1. This isn't about doom and gloom. It's about preparing now and doing the things you need to do right now, knowing that continued costs are going to go up and stay this way for a period of time, which we don't know when it ends. Nobody knows when it ends. Someone can predict, and people are predicting now that it's going to go into the summer of 2022. Sure, it might. It might go into the summer of 2023. No one knows. But either way, you know that even right now, in the last several months, you've been paying more for things. If that's the case, you've got a couple of choices. I laid it out for you. This isn't about doom and gloom. It's about preparing and making intelligent decisions, knowing that you want to be financially secure. You want to have a happy life. You want to be able to spend money on things, and you want to also have some free time. And if you're working full time and part time, I mean, you don't have a lot of free time outside after that. So think about the things I've said today. If you're interested in learning how to trade the U.S. stock market, I teach a class once a month on my method. You can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. The next class is October 23rd and 24th. It's in a little bit more than a week from now. Have a great day, everyone.